Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to a new video. So as you can see then, this is week 50 of the product idea videos. If you're new around here, every single week I do a video like this, giving you guys three really awesome products that you can go out and test on your store. Now, the reason I do these videos then is because a lot of people get stuck at that point um, in the process of picking a product to commit to, either because they come across analysis paralysis that they think into way too much, or they wait for weeks and weeks for that one golden product that's gonna make them hundreds of thousands of pounds. Now, what I do want to say then is that when it comes to picking products, it's definitely a skill. So if you've never done it before, then the first product you pick probably won't be a winner. So for example, then when I started dropshipping nearly four years ago now, it was the sixth product that I tested that I actually found some success with and was able to make a profit with. So what you're much better off doing is finding a product that your gut instinct tells you to go with, testing it, and then if it fails, that's absolutely fine. Just move on to the next one. And what will happen is over time, you'll develop that eye and that skill for picking products and also what will happen is that every time you run ads for a particular product on Facebook you'll get data back for that and what you'll soon start to learn is what a good CPM is what a good cost per link click is what a good engagement rate is what a good quality ranking is so again you'll develop that skill of what good data looks like how cheaply you can achieve things and overall it's just going to make you a much better marketer and it's going to make you so much more successful in the long run so with that being said then let's jump straight straight into product number one, which is this men's Apple Watch strap. So the reason I like this product so much, and I believe it's have so much potential, is because when I was scrolling through the exchange marketplace, I come across a store that was doing over seven figures per year. This is the store, it's called the Ultimate Cuff. By the way, I forgot to mention in the intro, this keynote will be downloadable, includes all the links, etc. So if you do wanna download it, it won't cost you any money. Um, just head into the video description below, it'll be the first link. So this is essentially a women's store for Apple Watch straps. If I just scroll down to the revenue, you can see they did two and a half million dollars. However, they don't sell men's ones, which leads me to think that there's a gap in the market for men's Apple Watch straps, which leads me to think that a product like this has absolutely huge potential. It can be a one product store or you can sell multiple different variations. However, there's a whole bunch of other reasons of why this is such a good product. Number one is it's an evergreen market. What that means is there's more and more people coming into the market is getting bigger and bigger therefore ultimately your pool of customers is only going to be increasing number two it's got the perfect perceived product price so what that means is that when people see a product it's hard to guess how much it will cost with Apple selling their own straps as well at absolutely extortionate prices. I was in the Apple store probably a couple of months ago now with my girlfriend and we've both got Apple watches, but we were looking at the strap costs and they're like a hundred pounds, 200 pounds, even 300 pounds for some of the straps, which is absolutely crazy, which leaves the perfect opportunity to undercut them with a high quality product and make some pretty decent profit margins, which we'll be going through in a second. Number three, there's plenty of marking material. Obviously you can go online, find pictures of different Apple Watches, etc., which is actually really important for a product like this because it is a usable product that somebody would use every single day. Then lifestyle images are what's going to make this product work. Rather than just seeing it on a stand, you want to see people using it in real life. And because there's loads of stock photos you can get for free, like pexels.com, you can find really high quality luxury images of people in cities and in, in um, coffee shops, in supercars, where you can like crop in an image of your strap to increase the perceived value, which is only a good thing because obviously you're gonna make more profits. The next point as well, it's really easy to target on Facebook. So you can obviously just narrow down on people interested in Apple in the actual watch itself. It's hugely popular and increasing. I actually didn't believe this myself, but again, if we open up the link to head over to Google Trends, you can see once it finally loads that it's currently creeping up to its peak popularity. What that means basically is that now is the ideal time to start selling a product like this. Finally then to go through the product profit margins then, which is obviously the important bit because we all want to make some money. Purchase price, including an elite packet. So you can actually click on this and it will take you straight to the product page on AliExpress. And now all the information is loaded up. You can see as well that you can actually source this from France. So if you add drop shipping to the UK, um, that's going to be a lot quicker than shipping it from China. Anyway, if we go back to the keynote, just go through the numbers. I recommend selling this for £30 as a minimum. I would start there and then if you can actually
actually creep that up a bit just to increase your profit margins, which leaves you at about £23 profit per sale minus your Facebook CPA. Now, on average, I reckon you could probably achieve a £10 CPA on this, so you're looking at about 10 to £15 profit per sale, which is really good, especially on the front end. Plus, that obviously doesn't include any upsells or cross sales. So, with that being said, then guys, that is product number one complete. If you're enjoying the video so far and you're still with me, thank you very much for watching. Please do hit that like button. Um, and with that being said, then that shameless plug, let's move into product number two. And I'm pretty excited about this one, to be honest, because there's a massive growing market for personalized items at the moment. Um, and just to give you an example, then I like to base all my products on proof. So I'm not just showing you absolute rubbish. I want to actually give you evidence that these are decent products. So just to prove this, this is Blue Crate. Um, if you've never heard of them before, they're a massive, massive dropshipping company. These guys are selling this product. Um, and if I just use my browser extension, this one here, um, once it loads up, it's going to give us some information. So these guys are getting about 100,000 visits per month. And if we look at their best selling products as well, um, best sellers, we can see then that two out of their top three best selling products are these personalized cushions that you can put your own face on or your friend's face on or whatever it is. Back to the keynote then, there are some further reasons of why this is such a good product. Obviously, number one, it's fast delivery with it being a print on demand product, then obviously you'll be able to get it to your customer within the space of a week, which only increases your um, your review scores, your customer retention. All in all, it's just a good thing for obvious reasons. Number two is personalized products are in demand. There's more and more people, um, which I'm gonna to prove to you in a second with the data. Number three is it's perfectly suited for Facebook because it's emotional selling. To show somebody something that's gonna make somebody laugh, it's gonna make them tag their mates, their friends, their family, and it's gonna want them to buy it for their friends, even if it might not be their birthday, whatever it is, because it's just such a cool, funny product. Um, it just works really well for Facebook. Number four is easy content creation. Obviously, the first thing you would do if you were building a store around this is just reach out to a few really small influencers, ask them if you can send them one for free, and in return, they'll send you, say, three to five pieces of content of them with their cushion. Honestly, guys, there's no better way to sell any product than with user-generated content because it's immediate social proof um, for your business essentially and for the product itself. As I've already mentioned then, it's massively trending. Again, if we open up the data, we can see that personalized cushions are approaching the very most popular point in which they've ever been in the past, well, since 2004. So now is a great time to start selling the products like this one. And then finally, to finish it off, let's get into the numbers, the important bit. I did a bit of research on this going across a few different print on demand companies and you're looking at about 11 to 15 pound including delivery. Now that obviously that does depend if you're going to the UK, um, France, Germany, US or Canada. Um, sale price, I would say 30 pounds is pretty reasonable to be honest because it is such a strong emotional capturing product. Then I think 30 pounds is definitely achievable because what you'll find as well is that most people tend to have more than one friend or one family member. So you could offer some sort of discount if they order maybe two or three of these, um, which is really good for your profit margins. The more things you can do to increase that average order value, um, the easier you're going to find it to sustain, to sustain your business and um, profitably in the long run. Profit then, that leaves about 15 pounds. It's not massive, especially once you take your Facebook CPA out of that. But like I said, there's so many different opportunities for adding other products into this with upsells and cross sales. With that being said then guys, let's move on to the third and final product, which is these rainbow wings. Now, before you leave the video thinking I've absolutely lost the plot, trust me, these are gonna be absolutely huge. And for this reason, why then? So I'm just gonna open up this link and show you this Facebook ad because I found these as I was scrolling through my newsfeed. And I just want you guys then to watch this video um, because there's just absolutely no way somebody could see this and not stop to have a look at what they are. And one of the best ways to pick a product is a visual product that's gonna capture people's attention. And this does it really well. I've muted it so it doesn't annoy you um, for all the headphone users but it's just such a good product. To kind of prove it as well, um, one little side trick if you've never seen it before is you can take short links like this one, um, put it into URL bar, put a plus sign on the end, and it'll actually tell you how many clicks this ad has. And what we can see is they're still running this ad and they're still getting and they're still getting pretty consistent clicks on a daily basis with a total of 80,000 clicks, which is pretty decent considering they've only been running this since September. What's really good about this method as well is it will actually tell you where the traffic comes from so you'll know which countries this is selling in. Um, the biggest one being United States, the second one Australia, Canada, UK, 
um, etc. So back to the keynote then, um, and again, there's some further reasons of why this is such a good product. Um, some of them I've already mentioned. Number one, it's super visual and attention grabbing. It's a very, very unique product, and there's not much competition on Facebook, which is absolutely huge. Just to illustrate this to you, so all I've done is search for rainbow wings. I've gone to videos, and there's a couple of fairly big ones. You've got this one, which is 1.6 million, but then after that, there's nothing over 100,000, which leads me to believe that something like this just has crazy, crazy potential. As you can see, there's not many people advertising this product at all. The next thing as well is there's evidence of purchases. If I just take you back to the video ad I showed you, and I wanna show you some of these comments because I saw this one particular comment. Again, it was a UGC, a user-generated content lot. It was the woman who took a picture of herself with this product and posted it in the comment section of this ad. And look, it's got 94 reactions, good reactions as well. This one, particular comment would have driven so many sales for this company for this business um, it would have been absolutely crazy honestly there's nothing better than actually user generated content at selling a product so it just shows people do want to buy this um, and they as well think it's a cool product finally then to finish off the video let's go through the profit margins of this product so purchase price 31 pounds 44 now that is include an e-packet so that is the final cost you will pay a sale price then of 64.99 we know this is by the way what these guys are selling it for so we know it sells at that price which leaves you with a profit of about 33 pounds 34 pounds which is really good because if you take off say a 10 pound facebook cost per purchase that leaves you nearly 25 pounds per purchase you'd only have to sell 10 of these a day and you're looking at about 70 to 80 gram profit per year. In other words, the break-even rouse is 1.94. And with that being said then guys, that is all three products. If you're still watching, you're still with me, thank you very much. I really do appreciate the support. Please do make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe as well for weekly product idea videos. And if you've got any questions whatsoever, comment them down below. I will read and answer every single one. For more content then on this off of YouTube, make sure you head over to Instagram. There will be a link in the keynote. I've got some free eBooks too, five different ones, each on a different aspect of your dropshipping business. So just head into the description below if you want to download them, they're 100% free. And finally then, if you want a step-by-step -step program that also includes the, the support of a group and myself as well, one-to-one -one support with me, then check out my Ecom Academy. And likewise, um, there will be a link in the video description below. With that being said then guys, I'm gonna wrap it up. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.